to you. Welcome to the shave. Thank you, Mrs. H. Very dainty. Beautiful. Right, welcome to the shave. Back to DE today. Uh, one of my favourites. Comfortable using them. Um, and I was going to use a park. Well, I am using a Parker razor, as you can see in the title down there. And I said to Mrs. H, I want to either use the Parker 22R gunmetal finish or this other one. I said, you choose which one. And she went straight for this one, the Parker 65R, because she liked the handle. So she got good. <laughs> There's a bit of glitter in there, gold and glitter on a grey background. Three piece non adjustable. I'd say it's a standard head. There's nothing spectacular there. But, um, Inside, let's hope the blade's spectacular. This is, I've used them before, it's a nice blade. Sunny blade, super stainless. A uh, supreme stainless, beg your pardon. And um, that is here, brand new. Single wrapped. So we'll undo. So how are you doing? All right. How is this uh, midweek day treating you so far? How's the week treating you so far, I should say? How's life? Good, I hope. And if it's not, I hope it gets better very, very soon. So that's what it looks like with the, the blade in, you see? Yeah, or nay? Maybe. There we go. Uh, a very slight overhang to be aware of. Then we're going to use some of this stuff. True Fit and Hill Trafalgar. Uh, named after the, the um, war or battle of Trafalgar in South Africa, I think it was. Um, Another one with the Royal Crest. Many, many old names, these. And uh, the scent, there's bergamot, there's um, musk. Uh, what else is in there? Um, oh, oh, I'll tell you, it's got one of these lids on it. Bergamot, musk. Is there vanilla in it? Something like that. I could be wrong with it. It's like a greenish, uh, minty sort of looking cream. Oh, it's beautiful. Musky, sort of one of those musk um, bergamot, sort of like fruity. These things mix and they're beautiful. Um, good quality cream. And I'll show you what this looks like. Looks like a big tab like that. And I'm going to use actually their pre shave because I had a couple of nicks here, a bit too many for my liking. I'm going to use a pre shave, it's their own True Fit and Hill. Ultimate Comfort Pre-Shave Oil. I'll leave a link to this website. If you go to the soaps or the creams, it gives you the notes, uh, what they're based on. So it's, um, I've missed a few out there, but it's a lovely scent. And that's I'm using my bowl. And we're using the Captain's Choice brush. Uh, beautiful brush, tuxedo knot. Look at the handle, I love this. In the light, especially, look at that. Daylight is a beautiful brush meant to, it's lovely that, it's, I think it's, was it the sea, the sea, and, and it's, a, it's a lovely job. <laughs> right, we'll, we'll start lathering up. We've had um, another mixture of weather this week, we've had some beautiful sunshine, we've had the temperature drop to... Well, feeling cold, you know, about 12 degrees, I think. Um, what else is there? We've had, oh, showers, rain showers. And uh, as I say, all the farmers love to see a drop of rain. And then a nice bit of sunshine after. So the crops, uh, I think the, what they call the silage, the grass, they leave it grow long, cut it, and then put it into a pit and roll it and then cover it. And that's the feed for the animals in the winter. And the more of that they can make, uh, they're more prepared for a very harsh winter then. Listen to me like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've already picked it up as I go around delivering, you know. To... But uh, as we've talked a bit of jibber jabber there, look at that, that's perfect, beautiful. Oh, it's a lovely, classy scent. Again, you may have it, you may own it. Okay, so we'll just rinse the face. 
some nice hot water. Make sure it's uh, clean. I'm just going to wipe it. Get a nice clean base. And then we'll use this. Uh, I love this stuff. A few drops. Rub it in. This is a very, as you may know, sort of an orangey, zesty, citrusy, fruity scent. Goes into the beard beautifully. You do shine for a minute, but it's uh, super absorbent. But it does help in the shave. So as I say, sometimes I look at the shave before and think, a few cuts there. That was from the supply rays I used with the injector. Um, see, not using them, they're a thicker blade. Uh, it was smooth shape, but it's not as smooth as a DE for me, but I'm used to them. And it just shows you, if you use anything you're not used to, or don't use regular, it can be a bit of a learning curve in a way. But uh, we managed to shave, didn't we? Can, uh, I will just lather up on top of that. Yeah, we managed to shave and uh, still here to tell the tale. Yeah, lather your ears up as well. No harm in that. We've got a local Eisteddfod, which is like a get together singing and as you would expect in Wales. Um, lots of children in this one from the earth, I think, called the earth, and that's in the the uh, local town of Denby. So they're expecting a lot of visitors and traffic from all over Wales, and to come and see that. So it might be a bit, bit of a bedlam on the roads for the next week. It's nice to see. People getting together again and celebrating the land of song, and they, they it's like a com the competition. They all sing, and you know they get judged. It's lovely. They get the children, of course, they get to be on television, and all the television cameras are there. Right here we go. See, you get all sorts of useless information. <laughs> uh, all right, okay, here we go. First pass, Parker, 65R. And uh, I'll tell you something in a minute. On Friday, oh, that's a nice blade. Well, it does help the old uh, oil. Appreciate it, well. lovely. Yeah, on Friday, Third of June. It's someone's birthday. Not the flowers, but the person that makes them. So keep it in your diary for a couple of days on Friday. It may come up if you if you're a member of the or a friend of hers, anyway, on the Facebook. Oh no, I think it shows up anyway, doesn't it? Um, so uh, give it a happy, it's her 50th. And I'm younger than her then, believe it or not. We're just like, weathered badly. She's on the 3rd of June, I'm on the 23rd of June. And we're celebrating Mrs. H's birthday. God, look at the whiskers here. Whew with a picnic, a traditional picnic, that's what she wanted. Uh, there's been a birthday cake being made as we speak, which she's designed herself and that's the lady in uh, one of the rural vi villages to make, makes beautiful cakes and um, Of course, there's going to be flowers on it. <laughs> um, and we're going to have a picnic in Snowdonia. Uh, 
that that's where Mrs. H was born and bred. And we're going to have it with her family. We're all meeting up there. We're going to have our picnic tables, chairs. Some people are bringing cakes, some are bringing a trifle, uh, sandwiches, whatever. Wine, beer and song. That'd be nice. She said to me, what would you like for yours birthday? I said, well, I don't want to fuss. Do you know what I'd be happy with? I said, I'd be happy with fish and chips and mushy peas on the coast, just the two of us. That's true, though. I don't like a, don't like a fuss. And then a few beers, something like that. Because we've got two days off this week. Um, in my job, uh, Thursday and Friday, tomorrow and Friday because of the uh, Jubilee, the Queen's 70th year on the throne. So everybody gets, well, not everybody, there's, you know, lots of people work as usual, but uh, some people, if they're lucky, get the time off across the growth. And we're lucky enough. But Mrs. H is working because she's a carer for elderly, so she's going in. Care worker. So the blade is more towards my standard sort of Wilkinson sword persona. Those are my really go to standard go with any razor I've got blades that blade compared to them is more aggressive you can hear it um, but doing a fantastic job it's comfortable and really it's a good choice because this cream is very slick and of course it's got the pre-shave oil underneath that and it's still beautifully doing it yeah it's lovely and be careful here You having a shave today? Are you planning one? For the next day or two or whatever? Yeah, slickness is lovely. Now the strength of the scent, it's, as I say, it's a sort of a bergamot, goes well with musk, doesn't it, and sort of a woody vanilla. So it's sweet, uh, musky, um, classic, I can only say it's a nice classic scent, but, you know, sort of a fruit, um, musky scent to it as well it's really nice but it's not in your face it's not strong it's not filling the room anything like that but uh, as you apply it as you shave it does smell nice you'll find a lot of high-end soaps or colognes or whatever uh, tend to be quite gentle on the scent because that's, you know, it wouldn't be no good with it going out. People going, oh, what were you wearing, mate? Domestos. If you wonder what Domestos is, it used to be, can you still get that? It used to be a bleach over here. Domestos. That's intrigued me, that. Um, not seen it for a while. Probably can get it, I've just not seen it. Right. God, I talk some. I'm sorry about this jibber jabber. Hope you don't mind. I'm talking like I've got friends, but uh, probably won't have any after this now. Right, sorry. Against the growth. Here we go. Listen, listen. You got a butter and toast. Would you like one slice or two? Three. As I say, it's a standard head. That blade gives it a bit of bite. I 
I don't know how you class that sound. You might think, oh, that sounds sharp, rough, whatever. But it feels very smooth. It's, uh, should we say, it's bark is louder than its bite. Good scene, isn't it? Especially for a Wednesday. Really nice, really close. Trying to go very lightly, you see, because I don't want to reopen oh, it's warm. I don't want to reopen these uh, little peepers I have here. But, uh, if I can help it. I'm very happy with that. Right. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Woo. Won't be in work today. Why not? Doctor said I've got to watch out for these weepers. And my that finger has got to heal properly before I can head into work to make sure that the workplace is hygienic to make your business much better. Thank you. That's the answer to that. Nice grip, quite a textured grip. That's a nice blade, that Sunny. Have you tried it? Maybe you've you've uh, gathered other people's thoughts on it that used it. That is nice. Cold water. That is lovely. Oh, nice. I didn't expect them to smell, but they did. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, so you may see some uh, pictures from maybe on Facebook group or Instagram. Um, my Instagram or Mrs. H's Instagram on the, the birthday, you know, the pictures, whatever. So you may share some. And that's what we look like.
Mm, there's a there's a slight weeper there. I don't know if you can pick it up on that. Otherwise, we're good to go. So what I thought I'd use with this is the Humphreys Witch, ha Witch Hazel Sandalwood. I've made. I put um, sandalwood uh, oil in it, essential oil, and it's uh, so musky, woody. Oh, it's lovely. Nice cream, that. Nice cream. That's that. I'm going with some some of this first. No, no, I'm going to do it back to front. Sorry, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. I'm going to go with the Nivea Two Phase first, and then put the um, we're using English leather cologne. So give it a shake. Don't need a lot of this. This has got a. Um, sort of an oil because there's a post shave balm sort of thing I think it's like an aftershave balm combination but you could leave it there that would be fine nice scent actually Nivea scent and that'll soon start to go back to a two phase and then we'll use some of this uh, English leather if I can find the Spray hole, there it is. Oh, this is, this is a classic, I tell you. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. So, before you go, just to recap, we've used the Parker 65R, three-piece, non-adjustable, um, very ornate handle, nice razor. We've used the Sunny a Supreme stainless blade, really nice, uh, brand new, and quite a sharp blade, but very smooth, feels nice. It's louder, as I say, its bark is louder than its bite, uh, as you can see, very close. A nice blade, and I expect it'll be um, sort of down the feather road in a way, it's, it's sharp. But that'll ease off in the second and third shaves. Those should be the prime peak shaves uh, for my for me anyway. Uh, then we've used this True Fit and Hill Trafalgar shaving cream, beautiful, good quality uh, shave cream, and a nice light scent. And we've got this uh, True Fit and Hill we used before. Don't we as appreciate the that's an orangey zesty scent. That's lovely stuff. We used um, Welsh water to rinse then we use the Humphreys sandalwood which I made made up uh, witch hazel and then uh, see it's going back to two phase already use that stuff and then to finish off the English leather uh, cologne beautiful stuff and that's a happy lovely shave in good company so thanks for joining me um, if you haven't any shaves have some good ones have a good week rest of the week um, the Platinum Jubilee for Her Majesty the Queen, 70 years on the throne. Thank you, Mum. And uh, that's it. So there'll be some street parties throughout the country celebrating that. And uh, if you are off on the Jubilee, I hope you have a great time wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Stay safe. Have a good shave. And I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Look forward to it. All the best.